Despite year after year, technology making our lives more convenient and pleasurable and more instantly gratifying, we still find that our levels of happiness is not only unchanging, but in the past year has actually gotten worse. So why is this happening? Well, it actually might have a lot to do with the biological implications of pleasure and happiness or contentment. And both are very important, but this separation is vital. So pleasure is short-lived, it's visceral, it's taking, it's usually experienced alone, it's achievable with substances, it can be very addictive, and ultimately is dopamine. Pleasure is dopamine at its core. Contentment, on the other hand, is more long-lived, it's ethereal, it's giving, it's usually experienced with others, it's not achievable with substances, and is not addictive, and ultimately is serotonin. So in the simplest way to describe it, dopamine is an excitatory neurotransmitter, meaning it excites or turns on the next neuron in the nucleus accumbens as part of the reward pathway in the brain. So chronic overstimulation to dopamine, though, kills neurons, which, unlike other cells, don't grow back. So to protect themselves in what's called the law of mass action, neurons downregulate dopamine receptors, and when downregulated, you will need more dopamine to experience the same high. This is called tolerance, and of course, ultimately leads to addiction. Serotonin, on the other hand, is inhibitory, which means it turns off after connecting to the nearest receptor. And this means it does not downregulate serotonin receptors, doesn't kill neurons, and therefore is not addictive. But there is, however, one significant way to downregulate serotonin and the contentment pathway, and that is dopamine. The more pleasure you seek, the more unhappy you get. And this can radically affect the way we approach contentment because instead of focusing on the addition of pleasurable things, we can focus on the removal of hyperstimulation to address the same problem. It's almost impossible to be content when your dopamine system is rapidly firing, and it is rapidly firing because stimulation is absolutely everywhere. And it's everywhere because it's profitable, right? So what can we do about this? Well. First, if it feels addictive or is known to be addictive, stop doing it. Sugar, alcohol, porn, drugs, consumption of social media, if they're not serving you, they need to go. Now, there are a few ways to breed a greater sense of day-to-day -day contentment, but they are slow to reward. They do not overexcite neurons, right? They're things like meditation, eating healthy, working out, things that you know are obviously good for you. If you want to learn more, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with more videos on healthy habits, subcommunication, body language, meditation, intermittent fasting, and a whole ton more. And if you want to learn more about the relationship between dopamine and serotonin, you can read that in the book, The Hacking of the American Mind by Dr. Robert Lustig. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you very soon.